just out here washing the cars and a big box arrived. Anyone have any guesses what that might be? Here it is. So I'm gonna open it just from kind of this way because it's got my address on it and nobody needs to know what that is. So let's see here. These are like the world's greatest scissors. I love them. I know that other people in my household do not appreciate me using them on certain things, but they do work the best. I uh, asked the guy to put some some brown paper around the outside. And he said, oh, don't worry, I'll get, well, I will uh, keep you covered. And this is what we did. It's like the foam type paper and it's cor corrugated, so. Jesus. Oh, I was getting into here, that's for sure. Apparently the computer is sideways. But here it is. I'm just gonna set the phone down here. Ish. How can I do this? Oh there. That can't really show you anything. I'm gonna flip this thing upright. So, uh, I was given no details on this computer other than it was a <coughs> boxed indigo. Uh, and it was actually in the same province as me. Uh, the only reason I didn't go and pick it up is because it's about six hours from me. So it would be, you know, a um, 12 hour round trip. <laughs> which I don't really feel like doing. So anyways, let's take a look. All right, we got ourselves a 500 megahertz Indigo. Sweet. The box is in pretty decent shape. I have no idea if the computer works. Got a power cable, mouse, keyboard. That's the French keyboard too, if you can see. Which makes sense because I'm located in Ontario and it was located right near the Quebec border. So that would make sense. Here's the machine itself. Um, the only thing that sucks is it didn't come with the package of CDs, but I mean, I have, I have those, so whatever. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna pull this thing out and set it up on the counter and see if it works. Let's give her a go. It's a good sign. That was an interesting noise. <laughs> Don't know what the hell that was. Hard drive's junk. <laughs> yeah, judging by the noise it just made, I would not be surprised if the hard drive was junk. It probably got obliterated in shipping. Cause, you know they just toss the computer whichever way they want so let's try booting it up one more time okay i'm gonna let it do this for a couple minutes and see if it finds an operating system if not uh, i'll get back to you with swapping out the hard drive I just came back from throwing out the, uh, um, oh my God, what am I saying? The paper that was wrapped around the um, box and I don't know, it seems okay. So um, yeah, it's all French. So I will do a fresh install in a second. Is it this? No, 
this. Nope. Still not that. I keep hitting it over and over again. Maybe it'll work. I can't remember. I can't remember my French immersion. Let's see what's on here. Two thousand one, two thousand, two thousand one. So this thing hasn't been used in a long time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go grab my install disc and let's uh, reinstall um, Mac OS nine. Okay, hit restart. Apparently, I'm just gonna fucking. The hard drive definitely is not doing too good due to the noise it makes when I turn it on, but that's okay. I didn't film it, but the <laughs> putting in the CD, it actually sucked it in. So there is a chance that uh, this drive actually might be not bad. So we'll see, like, I mean this CD drive or DVD drive. We'll see when I go to eject if it actually ejects it or not. But I don't think this computer's been used in, well, I think it was used for a year or two and then put back in its box, if I'm being honest with you. Looks quite clean, so. Come on, thing. There we go. And I'll let that do its thing. This is probably the most burnt smelling iMac that I've ever had. They all have this smell that comes from them. This one smells definitely, uh, definitely the strongest of whatever that smell is. Just smells like burnt. I don't know how to describe it. Um, so, I should have expected this computer to have a French keyboard. Okay, and we'll let that go. Okay, so it has just had a fresh install, so let's restart into Mac OS 9. If you hold down on the mouse when it's booting, it'll eject the disk if there's one in there, in case you didn't know. Let's see how the drive works. Not the greatest, but not the worst. <laughs> Good enough. I'm gonna let this thing boot up and then uh, get back to you with the next part. All right, and I just got it set up. I uh, just finished putting in my information and that's pretty much it. I'll probably make a more in-depth video with this um, at some point soon, probably, as well as my clamshell. I'll probably do them both in one video. Like here's an unboxing of a clamshell and here's an unboxing of a iMac G3, uh, but we'll see. Uh, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this brief video and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.